Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this film I'd like to show you how to put together a simple assembly. We're going to be using his Visaros mechanism. We'll start from scratch. And we also covered this in class, but in case you didn't uh, catch it in class the first time, you have the ability to catch it here in this video. Also in this video I'm going to show you a couple uh, additional techniques I didn't show in class, including uh, using a toolbox. But before that we're going to use some uh, mate, uh, some advanced mates, and one of those is going to be the, the width mate in order to put some things together. And I'll show you some other uh, mating techniques here too. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I opened up my uh, my um, uh, assembly inch uh, uh, template file. So what I want to do, and what you should do, is go ahead and resave that uh, real quick to the file name of your choice. Uh, what I did is I put all my parts into one folder, so I'm going to go ahead and be looking for that folder. And when I'm in class, I use the class folder. When I'm out of class, I use my prep folder. So that's going to be a week five. So I have all my parts in the SARS mechanism folder, and I'm going to call that. And I typically like to put a date stamp on this thing. So today is uh, thir you know, 13th year, first month, January, and then today is uh, the 30th, and then we're going to call that Saros, Saramon. Okay, save. Okay, so now we have a new name up here, 130130 uh, Saros. Uh, sensors, we talked about that a little bit just to go down here. It's very similar to what we have in parts. Um, uh, in, in regard to the part templates. Annotations have no annotations yet, but as we put annotations into this, if we do so, we can control that by going into our annotation folder here. But you're familiar with the front, top, and right planes, and the origin. And what's different here also, uh, you know, in regard to our part files, is we now have a folder called mates. It doesn't look like a folder, but it really is a folder. When we start putting mates in here, uh, that folder will begin to fill up. So what we need in here is a component. So let's go ahead and insert a component. You have nothing open right now, so we're going to go ahead and browse, and what I'm going to do is put in my base. So you want to make sure that when you put in your first component in here, that it's fixed to the origin. If you just plop it in out here, it doesn't fix it to the origin. It just kind of puts it out there randomly, and then repositions uh, that part um, you know, to the screen, so it fits in the screen. But one way to check that, if you click in the origin up here of the assembly, and click the origin of your part, now you see two different blue dots up here. That's an indication that uh, it's kind of arbitrarily placed. That's not what you want to do. So let's uh, start over again. I did Control Z to get out and insert components. Browse. We're going to go to our base. Is that? And if you want to get it to the origin, green check mark. If you want to uh, put it right in the origin as a second uh, option here, let's go to the view, pull down menu, go to origins, make sure our origins are visible, and then the origin kind of follows our cursor. If we take our origins again really close to each other, they kind of snap right to each other. And that means that the origins and origins are going to be connected to each other. So, demonstrate that. I did not do that. I didn't do the green check mark. I already put the origins together, so now my origins are apart from each other. To fix that, as I demonstrated in class yesterday, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, first thing you have to do is you have to float your assembly. So if you right click on uh, that element in your assembly, that part in the assembly, there's an option down here called float. Let's go ahead and float that guy so now it uh, can move around. And we're going to take our two origins and we're going to connect them to each other. We're going to mate those to each other. Go to mate. There's an option here that you have to make sure you uh, click on it. It's going to be align axes. You want to make sure you do that. If you don't, the origins are still going to be mated, but it's going to be kind of like a ball joint where it's able to flip around in that joint. Probably not what we're looking for, but we do want to line up your uh, your uh, your plane. So let's move that aside. Again, go back to mate. Let's click on our two elements in here, which are going to be our two origins. Line those together and make sure we align our axes. Green check mark, green check mark again. And it's typical that the first element that you have in your uh, assembly is going to be uh, fixed. So let's go ahead and do that. Our mate in here is we have a coincident uh, relationship with the origin. But if we go ahead and fix this, if we right click on that and go to fix, that becomes suppressed. Still there. If we try to unsuppress that, now we're going to get a conflict. Still suppressed, so I guess we can unsuppress it than previous versions you could. So, I'm kind of belaboring this a little bit, but just to demonstrate that the right plane and the right planes are all lined up, the front plane and the front plane are lined up, and the top plane and the top plane are lined up exactly where we want to be. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Let's go and minimize that part. Let's go to insert components, browse. We're going to be looking for a hinge. Now, remember our hinge as I uh, demonstrated before. And just got a couple different uh, uh, configurations to it. So this one, you get to the proper configuration. If you right click on it, and go to the component properties, 
Now we're going to pick the one that we like. So we have a left and a back. So on the left side and the back are selected, so there's the two adjacent, uh, adjacent uh, uh, hinge uh, elements there uh, at 90 degrees from each other. We also have a left and a right, so that they're going to be 180 degrees from each other. And then we have a left and a right cut, so there's three different configurations. The one we have there is correct, and we're going to go to OK. Now we didn't really have this aligned uh, correctly, we probably didn't build that right, but we do have to. And we would build it correctly, but the orientation with the plans that we would have anticipated as we put this into our assembly is not quite uh, correct, but we can, I mean it's a slight thing, but we can go ahead and uh, correct that here too. So instead of move component up here in a command manager, let's go ahead and choose rotate component and just move that a little bit. So we want to make sure that our uh, hinge element is over here in this slot and this hinge element over, is over here in that slot. If you look really close over here, we have a sketch that's showing. Let's go ahead and hide that sketch element so all we're dealing with is our components in here. So. Let's go ahead and uh, click on that surface and that surface. Mate. Green check mark. Well, let's just pull that out a little bit so we can choose this surface. Mate. And that surface there. We'll put those two together. Uh, right click, green check mark, or green check mark there. You can go to the properties manager and do it that way. And then that one, we finally got that all together. And because we had our, uh, our um, mate relationship dialog box open there, we can continue to add, uh, you know, add mates to it. So if we uh, click on that, that should say it's fully defined, as it does. You should get a little dialog box, and of course this is fixed, so it cannot be moved either. So those are things you definitely want. Here's a, a little trick I showed you in class. If we click on that component, it's going to be a component that we're going to continue to put in there more than once. We can pull that guy out, right click on it, go to pro component properties, and this time instead of left back, we want to do left right green check mark, and now we can put that into place. So, let's choose these two elements as a mating surface, green check mark, and we're going to click on that surface and this surface and make that uh, mate those two. So, let's do that one more time. Pull that guy out here, pull this guy up here, in fact let's get all our elements in here that we need. So that, let's see, we need another one on top of that, and then finally, we need one on top of that, and one in the very top of here. So let's go ahead and get these lined up. This one's going to be correct, we're just going to turn that and put that over here, but we want to make sure that we have that cut up here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, choose, uh, you know, that option, which is going to be left-right cut. And because the cut's down here, we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate that in, into place, so that's roughly close to what we're looking at. And it needs to be turned around this way, so that the cut for the hinge is uh, going to be coincident with where we have substance down there. So this one's okay over here. This one also has to have that cut too. So let's go ahead and choose that left right cut. And that's a pretty good shape. That's some pretty good that uh, oriented right. But we can go ahead and rotate that just a little bit just to kind of line that up a little bit better. Then the top one is going to be very similar to the bottom one. So let's go ahead and choose the right uh, configuration for that. And that's going to be uh, left and back. And let's go ahead and rotate that around too. So that looks like it'll orient itself uh, pretty good there. Yeah, so we have a, a slot over here and we have a, the hinge element over here. Uh, we have a hinge element over here and a slot over there, so that looks like it's going to work. So let's go ahead and start mating these together. And we'll just do this one big uh, mating uh, uh, you know, dialog box over here. Green check mark there. Let's pull that out this surface and that surface. That'll lock that up. Let's start in this one on the bottom. This surface and that surface. Put that together. Let's pull this out a little bit. Maybe choose this surface here and probably... Oh, not that surface. Well, yeah, that would work. Let's go ahead and keep that. I kind of like it. This guy here and that guy there. Let's put that together. This is going to be a little bit easier to select, so let's go ahead and uh, select that surface here since they're not really uh, connected. What you don't want to do in a situation like that is choose edges. Always use surfaces. In fact, uh, when you're going through your models like this and going through your assemblies, the best, surf the best things you can select when it comes to mates are surfaces. After that would be edges and the, the very worst mates, although they still work like they did with the origin, 
uh, they're just not uh, always, they don't always uh, resolve themselves and you have to have a lot more mating um, relationships in there in order to get these uh, things like this to resolve correctly are vertices of vertices. So try to choose surfaces of surfaces as your first choice. So I'm going to choose that surface and then this surface, green check mark. As an alternative to uh, using surfaces, you can also turn on temporary axes. If you use temporary axes as a way to uh, line some of these up too. So if you choose that axis and this axis, that puts that together. Scoot that out a little bit. We don't want to necessarily choose that surface, but let's go ahead and choose this and that. That puts that together. Now this last one's going to be kind of funny. Oh, and the jig there. Let's go ahead and move this out a little bit. If you oh, if you get some uh, selections in there they don't really care for, if you need to uh, you know choose something different, if you right click over here into that blue box, you can go to uh, clear selections. But I want to get out of my mating dialog box there and kind of bring that a little bit closer in line. Okay, so let's choose that axis and this axis. With the control key to press, we're going to select on those two elements. We're going to put those together. And then we're going to choose this surface. Oop, green check mark. Sorry about that. We're going to choose that surface, but let's go ahead and pull that out a little bit so we can choose, so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. So it's going to be uh, on that one, it's probably going to be this surface. Over here, I believe. Let's see how that works. Works just fine. So there we have it. We have all that put together. So a couple different techniques there. And that seems to work. Now we still have uh, some of these sketch elements on, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Should turn off uh, for the other views. And that's in pretty good shape. So I think it's enough for this film. In the next film, I'm going to go ahead and put in my wheel mount, the wheel, and then the push rod. And then we'll go ahead and put in the pins. We're also going to be looking at some smart, uh, uh, some smart mates as we put the pins in, and then we'll go from there.